Hello? I've got a barber chair coming your way. Five minutes. What? It's the worst tea I've ever had. Look, man, you can't just leave this chair here. So, you got my chair, huh? I mean, I've got a chair. We have men en route to meet you at 38.89 North. 77.03 West. But, but where is that? Be there in 15 minutes. But I, I don't know where that is. Hello? I'm not looking to make any deals. We have your car. We're willing to make a fair trade. Car? I, I, I don't have a car. I'm getting another call. Let me put you on hold. We've supplied you with the means to meet us at our location. Find it parked outside your apartment. Drive safe. Oh, wait, wait, no. The car. Hello? You still there? Chair? Yeah, I got your damn chair. Who is this? It doesn't matter who this is. Just have the chair ready for us. At the fourth hour. Fourth hour? What do you, what do you mean? Be you ready? <laughs> Look, I'm gonna keep talking to you. I'm gonna have to have a name. Just call me Stranger 3. Look, dude, I'm thinking this chair is worth a little bit more than you let me know. This chair isn't worth anything. It's in my hands. <sighs> yeah, um, so we have your car. Uh, do the right thing. What? What? Look, dude, I'm gonna have to let you go. Yeah, alright. Um, yeah, to totally understand. It then began to sink in that 
Edmund should have listened to his parents about the obligations and responsibilities of owning an animal. He wondered if his dog's bodily functions were worth dying for, or if the dog was prepared for the possible danger of lurking outside. I heard you have a chair. You have a chair, right? Uh, the chair? Uh, yeah. The chair. Um... <sighs> you have to be kidding me. What, you don't have the chair? Dude, I drove 30 miles for that chair. Man, I'm... if you really came for a chair, just, just take one of mine. Come in. Come on. Please. <sighs> this one? Yeah. Yeah, just, just take the chair, man. This should work. Uh, thanks. Nope.